All right, guys, time for the BET Daily Devotional. All right, I want to uh, share a time in my life when my faith was shook, when I was very unsure, when I, 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 I didn't know what to do about what I had heard and how I would go on. Uh, my husband called me, um, it was about 2008, and he told me that... Um, cancer was in his body. He said they found a mass. And I said, what do you mean a mass? And he said it was cancer. I was standing at a spa. And uh, when he told me, uh, I hit the ground. Um, and the lady at the counter said, are you okay? My first response was, no, but I will be. Um, I don't even know where that response came from. It just came from the inside of me. And um, I left the place after paying for my service. And I walked down the street, La Cienega Boulevard, where the Beverly Center is, in Beverly Hills, walking down the street, calling on Jesus. I got in my car. I called Tina and I told her, and I uh, I said, you got to tell me something. They said, Warren got cancer. You got to tell me something. And she said, God is a healer. And that's all we know. God is a healer. That's all we know. She said it over and over again. I got off the phone uh, and I just drove around because I didn't even know where to go. I was in a daze. I was, I was so discombobulated. Uh, and I turned on a song by Mary Mary. And it's called uh, Trust You. And the words say, I don't know what to do, but Lord, I do know that I trust you. And I listened to it over and over. And um, uh, when I got home and I saw Warren, we were both kind of silent for a while. Because what do you say after you get that kind of news? But we found out that Friday. Fast forward through a whole lot that happened that week. The next Friday, he had his surgery. The next Friday, we prayed all week long. Every day I laid my hand on his body and I said, I command your body to line up with the word of God. You are healed, whole and complete by his stripes, by the stripes of Jesus Christ, you are healed. And yes, we listened to the doctor and they were saying the surgery was supposed to be three weeks, weeks away. I said, that's too far. And they said, we want to do it on Monday. I said, that's too soon. I said, Lord, give me a moment. The surgery was literally seven days later. And on that next Friday, the family was there and we prayed. We prayed for the doctor and everything. And when they moved that cancer out of his body, he's been cancer free ever since. No chemo and no radiation. God is a healer. God took us through that situation and we trusted him every step of the way. Maybe your situation isn't cancer. Maybe it's something else. Something else that's devastating. Maybe COVID-19 is wearing your faith out. But you got to stand in faith and you got to believe. The scripture says all things are possible to them that believe in Mark 9 and 23. What do you believe is my question to you. When I found out my husband had cancer, I believed God was a healer. Because here's the deal. Here's a little backstory. I grew up in a church where people got healed of cancer all the time. I saw people walk in with hospital gowns on, with the IV still in their arm, and get prayer and go back to the hospital and the doctors couldn't find it. I myself had a growth the size of an orange, a cyst on my ovary, the size of an orange. I found out on a Friday, didn't have no medical insurance to pay for nothing. I went back to the church and had them pray for me. When I went back the next week, it was gone. The thing shrunk. I'm telling you, God is a healer. I'm telling you, he works miracles. But what he needs is your faith and not your fear. So today, I want you to say, my faith is bigger than my fear. I don't care what I'm looking at. I don't care what the bills say. I don't care how my heart feels. My faith is bigger than my fear. I'm challenged to do something big and great, and I don't know how I'm supposed to do it. My faith is bigger than my fear. God can tell you to do something, but if you don't believe you can do it, you can't do it. You've got to believe. All things are possible to them that believe. What do you believe? I stand so firmly on the word of God. I don't care if my whole house burned down. I trust God will give me another one. I don't care if they take my record deal and all. I, I will still sing because God has called me to this. Not the people, not rich folks, not, not the opinions of men, but God. If God has called you to something, have faith over fear. All right. That's my BET Daily Devotional. Y'all be encouraged. Trust God. Have big faith. I mean, huge faith. Have the kind of faith that makes other people feel uncomfortable. Have big faith that makes the devil go, God, we can't get him. Not today. The faith is too big. Keep your faith strong. How do you do it? Through the word of God. <laughs>